Okay, uh, next question was, what kind of salary should be expected in the US for an entry level position? Yeah, so I think um, good salaries is kind of the short answer. <laughs> um, the industry uh, definitely pays well. I think that's uh, one of the uh, the attractive points. Definitely uh, one of the biggest draw cards, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, and uh, I think that the second, uh, you know, uh, part to the answer is that it does vary uh, by region, um, yep. by industry, uh, you know, location that people are at, uh, and um, I think often you know seventy-five thousand to a hundred thousand per year is uh, common for uh, folks that are working in uh, you know kind of individual contributor analyst roles uh, in the industry. Cool. So seventy-five to a hundred thousand US for an entry-level position. Yeah, that's what we see as kind of the average median salary uh, for both men and women uh, that are joining in the industry. Right, okay. And I guess there is, I did read in that report as well that there is a bit of a, a gap on gender there where it's it's pretty much mostly guys compared to, uh, like it was 90 or 90 to 95%, I can't remember exactly. Um, compared to the, the sort of shorter percentage of uh, women in the industry. But I, I believe that's sort of changing. I've seen a, a bit of a change more recently than say like five years ago when I, I sort of first started in cybersecurity. It's pretty much all guys. But um, I think things are sort of changing and shifting a little bit, which is good to, um, yeah, more, you know, women getting into it and yeah, moving up through the ranks. It's, it's good to see. Yeah, I think there's been some change, but you know we have a long ways to go, and I think it's on all of us to try and encourage uh, a little more diversity, uh, a little more yeah. balance uh, within uh, our industry. Um, you know, we've done our salary survey uh, for two years now, and we really didn't see much change, kind of year on year. We we looked uh, at security analysts in the U.S., U.K., Canada, India, Australia, and the Netherlands, uh, and. Uh, Last year it was 91% uh, of those respondents were male and the year before it was 90. So um, it actually trended in the wrong direction by 1%. Uh, so yeah. um, they're, they're, you know, uh, I was just listening to uh, the CISO of Rubric uh, speaking this morning and uh, she was commenting about how when she came up through her classes, in most cases she was the only woman uh, uh, in those classes and and again in many of the work environments that she's been in uh, and uh, I think that's true uh, for many women who work in the space uh, there's definitely a lot of uh, different programs uh, events right to get women together uh, who are kind of birds of a feather here working in cybersecurity uh, so they can learn from each other mentor from each other and kind of get you know motivated um, by the fact that they are other people that you know of the same gender who are uh, in this space and uh, you know more of that obviously needs to happen um, for us to uh, reflect the broader uh, you know uh, workforce where I think in the United States uh, for the first time in, in quite a while uh, the number of women working actually uh, slightly outnumbers the number of men um, Wow! and uh, cybersecurity obviously uh, doesn't reflect that yet not yet yeah <laughs> hopefully soon we'll see yeah.